extend financial assistance to Greece by four months, saving the country from bankruptcy for the time being. The bailout was due to expire at the end of this month. But analysts say concerns remain over whether the two sides can reach an agreement over Greece's structural reform plans. The anti-austerity government of Greece had pledged to raise minimum wages and rehire government employees who had been dismissed as part of cutbacks under the previous government. such issues as intellectual property rights and preferential treatment for state-run enterprises. The 12 countries hope to lay the groundwork for a broad agreement to be reached at a prospective ministerial level meeting in a few months. U.S. President Barack Obama has warned that China threatens to dominate trade in the Asia-Pacific region. He says the best way to counter Beijing's growing influence in the region and to protect American jobs is by ratifying the TPP. legislation called Trade Promotion Authority would protect American workers and promote U.S. businesses. He stressed the importance of the TPP Pact. This is seen as an apparent attempt to ease the legislation process for the regional free trade bill before it is submitted to Congress. U.N. officials want further international cooperation to eradicate Ebola in West Africa. They say more than 100 new infection infections are being reported each week. WHO Assistant Director General Bruce Aylward and UN Ebola Coordinator David Navarro spoke to reporters in New York. Aylward said the number of new Ebola infections this year